Welcome back to KTN News Center. Let's continue having a discussion about matters of teachers serving in the northeastern region, which has witnessed several attacks for the last uh, one week and probably two days. And speaking to us about it, the safety of teachers in northeastern region is none other than KNUT uh, uh, Secretary General, uh, that is Honorable Wilson Sosion, who's also a nominated member of parliament. And Honorable Sosion, when you are explaining to us about the stand of NATO when it comes to the safety of teachers in northeastern region, you had mentioned about withdrawing teachers one and locals from that region. This is not the first time Nat has talked about that. It is not the first time probably if you're having a sit down with TSC to talk about it. But at the same time, as much as you're giving that proposal for the third time now, it is a proposal that uh, governors from northeastern region has uh, strongly opposed, saying that that is discriminating northeastern region, especially pupils and students in uh, areas that are witnessing attacks. Now, I, I think for us as a union, we are honest. The training and recruitment of teacher policy world over is community-based because of obvious challenges. And I've quoted the UNESCO, the UN UNESCO recommendations on uh, teacher recruitment and deployment policies. That is very clear that every tribe, and it talks about tribes, all over the world, because tribes exist, including clans, must have their own teachers. And teachers must be created within that population, that tribe, and even that particular clan. Uh, Kenya is not an exception. And we are dealing with a challenge in, North, in northern Kenya. It's a very large area, uh, part of this country, with a huge population and also with potential school leavers who can take up teaching. Why are they not allowed to take up teaching? Because it's a recommendation of the UN. We still have what we call difficult to starve regions in this country. And Teacher Service Commission cannot hide within misinformed and misguided policies so that they keep recruiting teachers from advertising those positions and recruiting teachers from other parts of the country instead of uh, taking the problem head on and finding a solution. I can tell you, we've been engaging with the leadership of Northern Kenya, and some of them called me yesterday, and they agreed, and they told me, Secretary General, take these teachers away so that we can find a solution. A solution had been found uh, about a year ago, a year and a half, and uh, the former cabinet secretary had organized and recruited over 3,000 Form 4 school leavers who could teach in secondary schools and primary schools, and they were undergoing in-service training. Indeed, that was the best solution. But right. uh, those of us who believe in doing things differently and corrupting the process uh, contested against it, and those, uh, those training were discontinued. And uh, that really was the best solution. So for us as a union, we are recommending what is best, what has been recommended, adopted internationally. Teachers are moving out. Who will teach the children? So, so this, is, Sosion, this is a disaster Honorable that Sosion. is going to create inequity and marginalization. What we have proposed is a solution, and it is a lasting solution. Whether TSC and the ministry likes it or not, this will be the solution. All and right. I'm happy the so, leadership from Northern Kenya, those who have spoken to me, agree with us all very right. strongly but, that that is the solution. Create teachers from school leavers who are numerous and available and have even been recruited from the children of Northern Kenya. That will be the lasting solution. And that is how starving is handled all over the world and even within the entire country. Create teachers within every community and within every class. So, so Honorable Sosion, I believe you can still hear me. You know, as much as you're talking about withdrawing these teachers yes. from the northeastern region, from the statement that was issued yesterday by the Commission Secretary um, of the TSC, that is Ibrahim Mumin, at no point did the TSC, you know, in that um, letter, the press briefing that was given, is hinting that teachers, non-locals, will be removed from that area. Instead, 
TSC goes ahead to say that it is working with the government security agencies no, to normalize the situation don't, don't, at don't. the school and its environs. And instead, it's also asking teachers in the northeastern region to remain calm. When you make reference, when you make reference to a statement of a commission that has failed, why did it fail to provide a solution in 2015? in 2017, 2018, now in, we are in 2019, and you are still doing things the same, same way. I read the statement. It is a mere public relations statement that does not provide solution. It's not talking, they, they have no mandate at all in, uh, in stopping teachers. They don't have capacity to stop teachers from moving out. Actually, teachers have started moving out. That is the truth of the matter. And we'll encourage every teacher who feels unsafe to move out, move out, and don't go back. And uh, instead, what TSC should be doing, instead of sitting and issuing statements and cheating the public, let us not engage in games of charades, of cheating the public, and engaging in public relations. It's fundamentally wrong. Let us look for a lasting solution. And uh, TSC has a mandate under the Constitution to advise the national government. And it should advise the national government properly within the internationally accepted framework of uh, teacher management, teacher recruitment, and teacher deployment. And we still maintain that for Northern Kenya. And, that, and this time around, we are asking for a meeting. And we must have that meeting. In the previous three incidences, we were never accorded any engagement. We never had any meeting between the ministry, TSC, and us, because that must, there must be such meetings. Because one, the, the programs of the ministry shall be affected if there are no teachers to implement the curriculum. And this is a very sad scenario, because the children of northern Kenya will have to go without teachers for very many days and for a long time to come, particularly at the beginning of the year. And TSC cannot cheat that they can force and retain teachers in those particular regions. And I agree with the leadership of Northern Kenya. Quite a number of them called me yesterday, and uh, they agreed with me, and even authorized me to uh, organize and withdraw the teachers from Northern Kenya, and uh, so that we can go back and look for the lasting solution. There, there are many school leavers in Northern Kenya who have graduated uh, at, 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 at the Form 4 level, and they have capacity and ability to be trained to deliver teaching. Let them have that opportunity. It is part of the constitutional requirement of equity in this country. Why is it that we have a huge population of Kenyans uh, occupying uh, a, a large part of the country that is almost a third of the country, yet they don't have teachers? All right. This one we cannot talk of delivering equitable quality education when we cannot create teachers from a huge community living right. in a complex area. And right. uh, we, it's not just talking about creating children from the Somali community. We must map out every clan of the Somali community and right. identify the boys and girls who have graduated from Form 4 and have the capacity and ability to be trained as teachers. Right. And they can so be registered tomorrow and taken to class to begin teaching and be taken through refresher and upgrading courses. All right, Whether so Honorable... TSC likes it or not, or government, that is a solution. All right, so Honorable Sosion... But as of now, teachers who feel insecure should right. move out. All right, so Honorable Sosion, lastly from me, you're talking about withdrawing the teachers. The governor of Garissa yesterday released a statement asking locals to work with the government in ensuring that even non-locals, people who are doing businesses and working in northeastern region, um, feel secure. But don't you think that the war on uh, insecurity when it comes to Al-Shabaab militia at attacking the northeastern region can only be won when people are united? Because removing non-locals from the northeastern region will send a message that um, people are living in fear. On, honest, honestly, I'm talking about teaching service and how it is managed and how it will work in every part of Kenya. I'm not qualified to talk about security. That is not my docket, and that is not my mandate. And uh, I have given the proposal of giving a lasting solution. Teaching is not business. 
You cannot equate teaching with business activities. You cannot equate teaching with the public service. You cannot equate teaching with any other activity. Teaching in Northern Kenya can only be performed by children from Northern Kenya because of obvious reasons that I've, that, that I've, that I've outlined. So it is not going to uh, change things if we get statements from the governors and from everyone else and uh, we are doing things the wrong way. We, now today, yesterday, three teachers were killed. Do we know who will be killed next? We really don't know. And going by the trend of events, these attacks will not end. And the government officer, the coordinator uh, the, 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 from the provincial administration, either the regional coordinator or somebody, admitted that these militias live within and they know what they're doing and they're selectively killing. I think uh, as, as teachers, we will be wrong. And as a union, we will be wrong not to propose the correct thing. Those teachers were deployed wrongly to that region under wrong policy. And uh, we, we, we gave strong recommendation. When all the teachers moved out in 2015, if TSC and the Ministry of Education had engaged, and in fact, Nancy Machari and Dr. Belio Kipsang approached me and we had a meeting at Panari Hotel, and they requested me to allow them to recruit teachers with grade D plus so that they can be prepared for teaching. They persuaded me, and I accepted. And after that morning sitting, they disappeared and did their own things elsewhere, right. which is fundamentally wrong. We had an idea of a solution, and that solution must be supported by the governors, it must be supported by the members of parliament, it must be supported by the leadership. It doesn't, these teachers are prepared. A school leaver from the Form 4 already has uh, above average knowledge and content to stand in a classroom and engage in teaching. All what is needed is to formalize the process, identify. If through uh, the local activity and local action, some 3,000 school leavers had been identified and were already in the classroom, why did the same commission uh, turn around with others to demonize these students who had been uh, recruited and trained? And we still recommend those students who had been recruited and trained must be allowed to continue teaching in those uh, particular schools where they had been deployed and their trainings concluded, graded, right. recruited, and employed appropriately by the Teacher Service Commission. Right. Teacher Service Commission is accountable to the people of Kenya. Right. And it must avail a teacher for every learner in every classroom. So this time around, we are not going to accept uh, 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 the, the political innuendos and, 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 and debate. Teaching is not the police service. All teaching right. is not civil service. Teaching is not, uh, is not a, a business activity. It cannot be related uh, with the, uh, business entrepreneurship. In, that's a different thing. All right. Teachers All right. must be created from within that community, within the clans, within the subclans, so that uh, it, it is conducted in an assured manner. So All that right. in case of mobility and movement of populations, uh, populations and communities will move with their teachers and their children will be guaranteed of continued presence of quality teachers and deliver of quality education. All right. So those teachers who are in northern Kenya and are from down Kenya, it was a mistake for you to move there. All right. And uh, since you are not assured of your lives, the safety of your lives, you move out and TSC is obligated to redeploy them to other parts of Kenya where they feel they are safe and they can deliver services. All right. We must have a master plan today, now, to train teachers from northern Kenya, from the school leavers of All right. northern Kenya. All right. That is a lasting solution. Thank you. Thank you so much, Honorable Wilson Sosion, nominated member of parliament, Wilson Sosion, who's also the, sec the Secretary General of the Kenya National Union of Teachers, talking to us about the safety of teachers uh, in the northeastern region, with and not maintaining that non locals who are teachers. Uh,
teaching in the northeastern region uh, should be, you know, redeployed to other counties and have the locals trained and uh, 